there's no logical thinking people because the men have become all, you know, emotional and illogical. And then at the same time, we're also teaching people that you can't overcome your problems, that your problems are there. They're always going to be there and they're never mm -hmm. leaving. Right. You know what I mean? This is why I believe, and this is my personal opinion, why I believe suicide is so high. My mental health is such an issue today. It's because you you would you would be crazy, too, and you would drive yourself crazy, too, if you kept repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. And right? I would, Yeah, because you don't think that you can overcome them. Right? <laughs> I, I honestly believe that there are people, we talk about this a lot, I believe that there are people that aren't don't have problems they don't have mental health issues they don't have this uh disabilities to a certain extent i think more so that it becomes easy to say these things mm -hmm. right um if you if you guys ever read the book think and grow rich by napoleon hill right yeah he has a part in there where he talks about his son and he they told him that his son would never be able to hear he couldn't hear so he would never be able to talk either and he and in the and he was born that way and so they said he just doesn't have it doesn't whatever his eardrum is in his ear it doesn't work it's so that's that's just that he said in the book he said i refuse to believe that he said so i every day i told my son he could he could hear every day i treated him as if he could hear he goes when they try to put him in special classes in school i refused it I said, no, he's fine. He said, eventually, I think he was about 10 years old. He started to hear. Mm. Mm. And and then he and then, you know, this was written a long time ago. But he was saying that at the time of writing that book, his son could hear now. He was normal. He could talk. Everything was fine. I <clears> think that we get to a point in society and society has come to a point where we tell people certain things and then we believe those things and then yeah. we manifest those things. Yep. Right. That's that's just my personal opinion. If I keep telling myself I'm crazy, if I keep telling myself I'm stupid, then I become stupid. And then and then because we have such the, the, the whole, you know, feminine way of thinking that wants to protect and nurture everything. Then if I say that I have a learning disability, then they coddle me all through life because I have a learning disability. And me being the kid, being the child, I start to say I have a learning disability. I don't have to try. Yeah, I don't have to work hard. I can just fall back on this crutch that they've given to me since I was a little kid, and that's just what it is. I'm not mm -hmm. saying to everybody. There are people that have real issues, but I think that there's a lot of people that I look at and I'd be like, "There's nothing wrong with you." Yeah, you you just told yourself that, and you've and you've relied on that excuse for your whole life, and that's the excuse that you're gonna you're gonna ride with. I know somebody who she was told she had asthma for most of her life. And after a while, she said, "I don't. I'm, I'm not. I'm not subscribing to that no more." And she started changing her ways and becoming healthy. They told her she can't run, she can't swim. She started running. She started swimming. She started working out. She don't want asthma no more. Like she unsubscribed to that and mentally. And after that, she did what she had to do physically to become that person she wanted to be. And I was like, "Damn!" Like she did it and right in front of my face. I was like, "Oh, that's impressive." I, I saw a Pierce Andrew Tate was on Pierce Morgan show, and they were talking about depression. And <laughs> Andrew Tate said, I don't believe in depression. He said, I believe that people think they're depressed. He said, well, I don't actually believe it's some kind of medical thing that makes you depressed. And so Pierce Morgan was like, they're going back and forth. They're going back and forth. Like, mm -hmm. It's not, it's not. But Andrew Tate brought up a good point And he said to him, it's because most guys aren't actually doing anything. They're sitting around and not actually being active in their lives. They're not taking, they're not taking accountability for what is going on. So he was like, man, go to the gym. He said, he said, go to the gym, work out, get some results and tell me if you're going to be depressed. He was like, start doing stuff. And, and I get it. There may be folks that are depressed, but to, to me, his point was a lot of this stuff is just mindset. Right. Like Shay mentioned, you're thinking there's no hope in your life. So you start adopting no hope thoughts and no hope behavior. And they say, you know, you're in this cycle of, I can't get out. I'm, I'm doing this wrong and this is happening. So I, I kind of, but Pierce Morgan obviously is going to take the, we got to coddle the, you know, the depressed and we got to, you know. Yeah. But that narrative, that narrative, listen, you, you got to remember something, right? There are people just like, we just like we talked about today with the hip hop and everything like that, right? There are people that are going to work against that agenda because, we solve depression with pills. 
We mm-hmm. solve depression with psychologists that pay, get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Mm-hmm. We solve these problems in ways that benefit other people. If 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 people just did what you just said, Blanche, right? Go to the gym. What? Why? I don't. Why do I need Pfizer? I don't. I don't need Pfizer to help me because Pfizer gives me a pill, and now I feel like I need. Now I'm okay. Yeah. Well, stop now I'm not low, depressed. Low, low vibrational foods. Stop eating everything out the microwave. Cook something. Turn your stove on. Turn your oven on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, dude, uh, this is this is what I'm saying. Like, uh, like, accomplish things. Yeah. Accomplish small things that lead to bigger things. Yes. If 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 you would become depressed too, if you if you always did something and you failed. If you always did something, everything you did, you failed. You failed. Mm-hmm. You failed. You failed. You failed yeah. Right. You would become depressed. Right. Right. That would lead to depression. You know what I mean? And so what people do is they run to drugs, they run to the pharmaceutical companies, and these people, like Piers Morgan, he's not going to say, he's not going to champion that idea. This is one of the reasons why they don't really don't like Joe Rogan is because he talks about doing something, especially yeah. as men. As men, like, we we have this natural desire within us to, to, to conquer, to go out there and to build things, to go out there and to and to 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 create and build empires and civilizations and and provide and protect and do these things yeah. but now people sit on a, and they sit on their computer all day or they sit there playing PlayStation all day long right mm. that's what they do and they and what happens you accomplish things you play Call of Duty all day long you accomplish something you get to the next level. You buy this gun. You buy this. You buy that. Right. You have all these different things, and and then you get this this false of uh, sense of security because you accomplish something in Call of Duty, yeah. but in, instead of actually going out there and doing something. No, I'm just being. I'm being honest. This is how no, people I mean, really think. Right. <laughs> you don't. They, oh, I know somebody. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> 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 yeah, they feel like they've accomplished something because they play video games, and that satisfies that urge to go out there and to actually do something. I don't have to. I just did it on a video game. 